Four former Limestone Correctional Officers are facing charges of bribery and promoting prison contraband while employed by the Alabama Department of Corrections. The arrests are the latest blow the ADOC is facing with its prisons as the Department of Justice continues to investigate Limestone Prison. And News 19's Archie Snowden spoke to a former Limestone officer who says this case is another black eye for the prison. That's right, uh, Greg. Uh, in 2019, Stacy George was an officer at Limestone Correctional Facility when the Department of Justice saw the inability to control contraband within the prison, including illegal drugs and weapons. He says that he saw this corruption firsthand. Four prison officers, Alex Andrews, Shamari Andozier, John Paul Ketman, and Andrew Taylor Roy, worked for the Alabama Department of Corrections until their resignation on November 22nd, according to prison records. But the timing of this thing is interesting, and I know the Justice Department will be looking at this. Stacy George spent 13 years working as a prison guard at Limestone Correctional Facility. He says that the arrest of his former colleagues and their sudden resignations is connected to a deep and widespread deficiencies that need to be corrected. So they ADOC, the Department of Corrections, really serious about catching these people, you know, even in the future, or are they doing this short term to, you know, kind of uh, take attention off the other issues? I don't know. It's a good thing they're doing, but it's odd the, 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 the timing of it really is. George says that staffing is the big issue at Limestone Facility, and he believes that the arrest of four officers makes things much worse. There's four spots missing on one shift. And they're either going to have to bring the right team in to secure that, or they're going to have to bring the National Guard in. They need to bring the National Guard in anyway. According to George, employees were able to walk in and out of the prison without being scanned for contraband because the scanners were cut off since July. Well, you know, I left October 26th and I punched out at 9.16 p.m. And I thought what was interesting is that's about the time frame that we weren't going through the scanners. You could have carried some nine, you know, some uh, nine millimeters in or 40 cal glocks in, you know. There was just no, no security. You weren't going through any security at all, you know, for like three or four months. In a statement, the ADOC says that the four officers turned themselves in to Limestone County Sheriff's Office. And as a result of this investigation, all four resigned from their positions and all are being held at the Limestone County Detention Center.